Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss how to find maximum and minimum value of complex number. How to find argument of complex number. Now, to find maximum and minimum value, we need some basic concepts of triangle inequality. So, look, if Z1 and Z2 are two complex numbers, then mod Z1 plus Z2 lesser than equals to mod Z1 plus mod Z2. And mod Z1 minus Z2 greater than equals to mod Z1 minus mod Z2. Then total mod plus. Total mod plus. So, these two are called triangles in equality. So, we use idea of triangles in equality. Now, to find maximum value, we know we get lesser than in equation. Look at the figure. X lesser than equals to 3. So, maximum value is 3. So, to get maximum value, we need lesser than in equation. So, we use this addition. And if x greater than equals to 3, figure is like that. So, 3 is minimum. So, we use greater than in equation. So, this is our basic idea. Now look, problem number 1, mod z plus 4 less than 3, find maximum and minimum value of mod z plus 1. Now, so, to solve this type of problem, we have to express mod z plus 1 in terms of given, that is given in equation. So, this is z plus 4. So, we can write it as z plus 4 minus 3. Now to get maximum value, so lesser than in equation, mod of minus 3. So now look from this, this is z plus 4 obviously, z plus 4, so this is lesser than 3 and mod of 3, so this is 6, so z plus 1 is maximum equals to 6. Now to find minimum value, so same possible z plus 1 equals to z plus 4 minus 3. So, greater than equals to mod z plus 4 minus mod 3 and total because this difference may be negative. So, this greater than equals to 3 minus 3 greater than equals to 3. So, z plus 1 minimum value equals to 3. So, maximum value is 6 minimum value. Now look, problem number 2, this is simple, problem number 3. So, problem number 3. Find difference between a test and least value of z and given z minus 3 plus 2i lesser than equals to 4. So, we have to find a test and least value of z. So, we have to express z in terms of this. So, z minus 3 plus 4i, this is given to z minus 3 plus 4i plus 3 minus 4i. So, look whether it is true or not. So, 3, 3 cancel, 4i, 4i cancel. We need up. We know how to work to this. So, this lesser than equals to, to get maximum value, plus 3 minus 4i. So, this lesser than equals to. So, this is by our theory 4 and this is root over 3 square plus 4 square that is 5. So, lesser than equals to 5. So, z mod z maximum equals to 5. Mod z maximum equals to 5. Now, look again mod z equals to z minus 3 plus 4i plus 3 minus 4i. So, greater than in equation. So, greater than equals to z minus 3 plus 4i minus 3 minus 4i. Total. So, we can write also the inequation in this form. z1 plus minus z. z1 plus minus z. Because mod of minus z2 is this. 
So we can write also this in this form plus minus, and this is in case of we can write also this in terms of plus minus. So from given condition, this is four minus this is five five, and then total. So greater than equals to mod of minus one. That is greater than equals to one. So that is why we are taking total. So minimum value is one, and maximum is so mod z minimum equals to one. So what is difference? Difference is so five minus one that is four. Now look. Problem number four. For any two complex number z1 and z2, z1 and z2 are related by this. So find minimum value of z1 and z2. Find minimum value of z1 and z2. So more z1. So this is given directly. This is square, and it is also given z2 minus 3 minus 4i. So we can write it as more z2 plus. C plus four i, or you we can write minus three minus four i as it is. So this is square. So lesser than equals to small j, and this is five. So this is seven. This is given that we square, and this is five. So seven lesser than equals to j two. So j two more j two greater than equals to seven.
more j1 minus more j total so this is 12 and j2 is 10 so greater than equals to so minimum help is minimum help is now a shortcut tree getting the result if j plus 1 by j equals to a then greatest and least value of mod j r is a plus root of r square plus 4 by 2 and minus a plus root of r square plus 4 by 2 now as j minus 1 by z equals to 1 then find maximum j maximum and j minimum So if it is plus or minus norm because we want to absorb this, so j maximum formula is a. What is a? a is 1 plus 1 plus 4 by 2. So 1 plus 2 by 5 and j minimum. So minus 1, 1 plus 4 by 2. So minus 1 plus 2 by 2 by 2. Not j, not j maximum. Not j maximum. So, this is maximum value, this is minimum value. So, low. So, you have to recall this result for direct maximum and minimum value. Now, look, it has a limitation. There are coefficients of z, slope z and 1 by z. If it is 2, you cannot use this result. Suppose if it is z plus 2 by z, so we cannot use above the result. So, when coefficient of z is 1 and 1 by z is and it is reciprocal only. Now, if it is not of this form, then we have to use the earlier method, so using tangles in inequality. Now, find maximum value of mod z, when z satisfied, mod z plus 2 by z equals to zero. mod z minus 4 by z equals to find maximum z. Now look, here is 2, here is 4. So, we cannot use the shortcut tree. So, we have to use tangent inequality. Now, mod j, so same problem number one, mod j. So, we have to express mod j in terms of z plus 2 by z minus minus 2 by z. So, this is lesser than equals to mod j plus 2 by z plus 2 by z. Now, this one is 2. So, 2 plus 2 by z. So, we can write mod z square mod z square minus 2 into mod z plus 2 lesser than equals to 0 mod z is always positive, so we multiply it by mod z. So, if we simplify it, so z equals to minus b plus minus b square, b square is 4 minus 4 into 1 into 2, so by a. So, z square, so z into, this is mod z, z square minus 2z, I think this is minus 2. So, minus, minus b, so this is plus 2, plus minus, b square is 4, 4 into 1 into minus 2. So, 2 plus minus 12 is 2 root 3 by, so this is 1 plus root 3, 1 plus root 3, 1 plus root 3. Again, mod z is positive, so z square, 2 into mod z minus 2. So, minus b plus minus. B square 4 into A into this. So 12, 12 is 2 root 3 by A. So 1 plus minus 2 root 3. So it is less than in equation. We know if x square minus k square lesser than equals to this. So if we factorize, we get this. And value lies inside the integral. So, so what is value, value of z? 1 value of z is 1 minus root 3. So this is not z, more z. So more z minus this is 1 minus root 3 
and this is 1 plus so mod z minus 1 minus and second one is mod z minus 1 plus plus lesser than equals to this one is not factorizable so we do general theory and then finding z we are finding z and z lies between this so if we solve the inequation what we are getting so we are getting look this is minus 1 minus 1 minus root 3 so 1 minus root 3 so we are getting so 1 that we use One minus root three lesser than equals to mod z lesser than equals to one plus this. Now mod z cannot be negative, so mod z lesser than equals to one plus root three. So we are getting only maximum. What is the maximum value? Z maximum equals to root three plus one. So mod z always greater than equals to zero. But here it is negative, so here minimum value is zero. So look. To find maximum value of this type of problem, so we use Daniel's inequality. So we can find mod z by using any one of Daniel's inequality. Now we discuss argument of we will discuss argument of complex number. So argument of complex number, we know z equals to x plus i y is a complex number. It is represented by order here x comma y. In other plane, that is complex plane, this is real axis imaginary. We know this. So this is origin. If p x y is complex number, x and y. So what we are getting? x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta. So what is z? z equals to R bracket cos theta plus i square. So I have already discussed this is polar representation of complex. Look, this line segment OP makes an angle theta with x axis. This theta is R bracket. And OP R from theta this is x square plus y square root. So this is modulus. So <coughs> this angle theta, if we express j in terms of polar representation, so this r represent r. What is r? r equals to mod z and argz or amplitude of z equals to theta. So look, so what is r? The values of theta those simultaneously satisfy x equals to r cos theta and y equals to r sin theta. Those simultaneously satisfy x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta are called argument or amplitude. Argument or amplitude. So, look, simultaneously satisfy these two equations. So, if we write tan theta, so we get y by x. So, you know, it is satisfied by many values. In first quadrant, it is satisfied. Suppose tan theta equals to root 3. So, theta equals to 60 degree, then 240 degree, again 420, and so many angles. So, this is trigonometric equation satisfied by many values of theta. So, what is principal? Principal R. Principal R. It is denoted by ARGZ or AMPZ. By argument, it is given on. By argument, we always mean principal argument. So, the trigonometric equations, they are satisfied by many values of unknown. So, list of them is known as principal List of them. So, what is the definition of argument? Listen again. Z equals to this. If we express, if we express Z in terms of polar R cos theta plus I sin theta, then theta is called argument. 
angle made by the line OX, we go to which is R. Oh, we also say <coughs> the values of theta, though simultaneously satisfy x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta, are called argument. And list of them is called vexical argument. So, why we are repeatedly saying this term simultaneously satisfy? So, consider one example. Find argument of 1 plus i, 1 minus i, this. These are basic problems of board, class 11 and board. So, look, suppose z equals to 1 minus i. So, what is x? r cos theta equals to 1. y equals to r sin theta equals to minus 1. So, tan theta equals to minus 1. Now, look, tan theta is negative in second and fourth. So, we can write this is 135 and 3, 1. I but look, <coughs> here x is positive, x is positive, so r is always positive. If we get theta equals to 135, then x is negative. So 135 does not satisfy both the equations. But if we get 315 degree, then cos is positive and sin is negative. So 315 is argument. That is why we are repeatedly saying that argument is value of theta, values of theta, though simultaneously satisfy x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta. So here 135 is not possible. So what is the argument? Theta equals to 315 degree. But look, we can go to this point P by these two possible ways. One is anti-clockwise 315 and one is clockwise this is minus 5. So, what is the least? Least is called principal argument. So, principal argument that is ARTJ equals to minus 45 equals to minus y by 4. So, this is the method. But we can use shortcut to Look, if it, if it is in first quadrant, so you always remember it. If it is first quadrant, in first quadrant, quadrant, quadrant in first quadrant argument is theta in second quadrant so it is pi minus theta pi minus theta in the second quadrant to anti clockwise is this clockwise is this one if it is third quadrant it is theta minus pi because it, it is third quadrant 2 to 5 suppose so it is 2 to 5 in third quadrant, if it is 2 to 5, clockwise is greater power than, sorry, anti clockwise than clockwise. So that is why it is negative, theta minus 5. And in fourth quadrant, if it is in fourth quadrant, so this is minus theta. So, and what is theta? Theta equals to, this is shortcut rule, tan inverse, mod y by x. So if you use this letter, when x and y are of this form, we take mod and see the quadrant and write the answer above P. Look, why this rule? This this problem. So what is tan theta? Tan theta is minus tan theta theta equals to tan inverse 1 because we are taking mod. Now it is in. This is pi by 4. This is pi by 4. Now it is in fourth quadrant. It is in fourth quadrant. So what is our formula? So AR is there equals to minus y by 4. ARGJ equals to minus y by 4. So, this is shortcut rule or you can use general method. So, look for the problem number minus 1 minus i. So, z equals to minus 1 minus i. So, what is theta? Tan inverse mod y by x. So, tan inverse 1 that is y by 4. Now, it lies in third quadrant. So, what is the rule? Theta minus y. So, argz equals to theta minus y. So, pi by 4 minus pi minus 3 pi by 4. So, these are basics only for four So, argument of complex. Next, properties of argument. So, 
So ARG Z1, Z2, ARG Z1 plus ARG Z2. Similar like of logarithm proof, you can consult any standard proof. ARG Z1 by Z2, ARG Z1 minus ARG Z2. So consider problem number 2. So find argument of minus Z minus argument of Z. ARG minus Z minus ARG Z. So by the above property, so ARG minus ARG minus argument of minus one. Now look some basic facts. So if it is one zero, suppose completely real, positive real. Then figure is like that. So completely real. What is the argument? Argument is zero. And if it is minus one zero, real but negative. So argument is five. So and if imaginary, purely imaginary, but lies on y-axis, positive y-axis, that is positive imaginary axis. This is i. Argument is five by two. And if it is negative, then it is minus y by two. So you have to remember this one. If it is positive real, then argument is zero. Positive real but negative argument is five. Imaginary, imaginary, but coefficient of i is positive. Purely imaginary, then y by two. Purely imaginary, but coefficient of i is negative minus y by two. So what we are getting argument of purely real but negative. This is five. So y is now problem number three. So z equals to z1 minus z2. z1 by z2. So we have to find argument of z1 and argument of z2 minus i plus. So it is in which quadrant x is minus 1 and y is plus 1 in second quadrant x minus 1, y plus. So, what is theta? Theta tan inverse mod y by x. That is tan inverse 1 equals to pi by 4. So, ARG z1. So, AR in second quadrant, pi minus pi by 4. Pi minus theta. So, 3 pi by 4. Now, for z2, sin 2 pi by 5 plus i into 1 minus cos 2 pi by 5. So, 2 sin 2 pi, pi by 5 cos pi by 5. i into 2 sin square 2 pi by 5. So, 1 minus cos theta. So, 2 sin pi by 5 LCM cos pi by 5 plus i sin pi by 5. So what is argument of Z2? So look, argument of Z2 equals to argument of 2, argument of sine pi by pi plus argument of cos pi by pi, i sine pi by pi. Now look, argument of 2, this is positive real, so this is 0. Argument of sine pi by 5. So in first quadrant, this argument also 0. And this is cos theta plus i sin theta. Argument is pi by 5. Now we use this formula. So argument of, so look, problem number 3. Argument of z equals to ARG z1 minus ARG z2. So what is ARG z1? 3 pi by 4. And ARG Z, this is 5 by 5. So 20 LCM, so 15 by minus 3 into 5 minus pi by. So 10 by by 20. So 5 by by. So let us verify. 
20 LCM 15 15 minus i this is 9 by i 15 minus 15 minus 4 by 15 by 15 by minus 4 by so 11 by, by 11 by by so I have to now argument now last one so you solve the last problem argument of j minus 1 by j plus 1 equals to pi by 4 find argument of j so I am giving argument so look argument of j minus 1 minus argument of j plus 1 equals to pi by 4 now this is tan inverse real part j means x plus i y x plus j equals to x plus i y so x minus 1 by Imaginary part y by x minus 1 and this is a tan inverse j equals to x plus y plus 1. So y by x plus 1 equals to pi by 4. Now it is formula of tan inverse y by x minus 1 minus y by x plus 1 x minus 1 x plus 1 this is 1 plus equals to pi by 4. Then transferring tan to right hand side and simplifying. We get locus as surface. Locus as surface. So, in this video, we have discussed so three topics: how to find maximum and minimum value of modulus functions. First, in terms of linear case, then shortcut key z plus one by z. Number three z plus 2 by z, z plus 4 by z and so on. This three types of problem to find maximum and minimum. And second part, how to find argument. So this is most important part. So we have considered problem of argument, very simple problem today. So I will solve difficult problem of argument in future that is in part see it in part 3, part 4, part 5 and so on. So, thank you.